My name is Oscar and I've been in the Chamber Choir for one year. Hi, I'm Erica and I've been in choir for three years now. Hi, my name is Melissa and this is my senior Will. Okay, I have been in choir for two years. This is my second year. Um, last year I was in trouble and this year I'm in chamber. Hi, my name is Elise and I've been in choir for three years now. Hello, my name is Madison and I have been in choir for the past two years. Last year I was in Bella Boche and I'm now in chamber choir. Hi, my name is Tia Griffin. I'm a senior here at Christopher and I've been involved in choir for three years. It's Gladys and I've been in choir for two years. Hello, my name is Isabel Hernandez and this was my first year in choir. Hi, my name is Emma and I've been in choir for four years. Hello, my name is Taylor. I've been in choir for two years. Hi, I'm Jasmine and this is my senior Will. Hi, my name's Noelle and I've been in choir for four years. Hi, my name's Francesca. I've been in choir for three years. Hey, what's up guys? This is Paul, uh, my first year doing choir. Ignore the little, like, there's like a reflection here. It's because my camera's broken. Uh, hi, my name's JT. Um, I've been in choir for four years, three of which I've been in chamber. My biggest choir-related achievement has been building up the courage to perform solo because it has taught me to go for something or you'll never learn if it's right for you or if you love it and I learned that doing things that make me nervous and feel like a risk make me feel the most alive it is my greatest achievement was making it into chamber choir because I remember last year I would always be like oh my god chamber choir how cool dude that sounds so fun and like they were so good and I was like I want to be in that okay I want to wear that blue dress and then um I tried out and I made it and I was like wow I literally cried in class because I was so excited my biggest choir related achievement has probably been being in three honor choirs my senior year um being an honor choir in general just opens up so many doors so many opportunities I'm just so grateful to have been a part of such a wonderful music making experience and to have met so many new people and yeah if you're an underclassman you should do honor choir because it's so fun and it's so worth it my greatest achievement would probably be being able to be in bella voce with some amazing ladies for the past two years in a row and i was able to get a solo my senior year one of my favorite memories in choir was the first winter concert because that was the first time I sang in front of a lot of people like that and I had a lot of fun and I enjoyed it. My favorite memory um, during choir was probably going to the Santa Clara Festival with my friends um, and just spending time with them and just singing along with the university choir and all the other choirs that attended. One of my favorite memories from choir definitely has to be our Disneyland trip that we took at the end of my junior year. It was just a really fun trip with a lot of great experiences. We got to work closely with a lot of really talented musicians and people in the field of music. And it was just a really good bonding experience for me and my fellow members in choir. I definitely got a lot closer with a lot of people. My favorite choir memory has to be performing in Carnegie Hall my sophomore year. I mean, the fact that Eric Whitaker himself was like 25 feet away from me was so amazing. His hair is so mesmerizing. I just, ugh, so fun. My favorite choir memory has got to be the Disneyland trip from last year. Um, to me, like all the trips were fun, but that one to me stuck out the most because I got to really bond with a lot of people in choir and I got to meet a lot of really cool people too. I become friends with people like I hadn't talked to that whole year and because of that trip I was able to get close to certain people and now I have like my forever friends because of that trip. My favorite memory of being in choir is when we're on our way to Disneyland and um, everybody just started singing one by one and I see the light and that was really fun and it was really spontaneous especially one by one because it was just out of the blue. We were watching Tangled <laughs> so it was really fun and really crazy. So I really enjoyed it. I've had lots of memories in choir, both years actually, and one of my favorite ones was being able to go to Disneyland last year. 
Although it was a three day trip and may seem short, I think I had lots of memories throughout those three days. It gave me an experience to bond with people in the other choirs. And one thing I will always remember was going on Splash Mountain, sitting in the front and getting absolutely soaked. So yeah. And then I got a dole up after, so it was okay. I'd have to say my favorite experience, favorite memory by far was definitely um, singing Ave Maria with you guys at the San Jose State University Festival. Like, dude, I just got chills the whole time. Um, you guys are so, it's so fun to sing with you guys. And like, dang, we made that song freaking hella good. My favorite memory would probably be after our second concert was done. Um, all of my friends, like my close friends and I, um, we would go to Black Bear and we would just sit there and eat and have fun and de-stress after these two days of singing. Um, we would just sit there and have fun and share memories and make new ones. And if I could go back to any night, that's what I would do. So my favorite choir memory has to have been going to Disneyland last year, which was my first year. Um, just like being with my friends and um, meeting new people along the way that I didn't really talk to during choir or just didn't hang out with that much. And I've just made like a lot of memories. I laughed a lot and um, I just had a great time. It's been a great four years. One of my best memories is when we went to Disneyland as a choir and specifically one morning we woke up before we left um, we woke up at like 4 30 or 5 in the morning so we could go work out with the people in my room <laughs> it was just a lot of fun um, to get a quick workout section in before we go um, before we went to Disneyland. My favorite memory from choir would have to be with my junior year when we went down to SoCal to go and perform in Disneyland and I was able to make some amazing memories with some of my best friends of all time that I got to meet in choir. My favorite choir memory is going to New York my sophomore year and going to Disneyland my junior year with my best friends. Choir has really helped me for my future by having me become less shy and more confident in myself and my singing. Um, last year when I first joined into choir, I was really nervous, really scared, didn't know anybody, didn't know who was going to be in choir. So I was just really shy. And um, I actually had a couple of my senior friends who helped me and showed me the way and showed me this is choir. We're all really sweet. We're all really nice. And we're just one big family. We're going to take care of each other. So it was really fun, really memorable. So this year I kind of made a goal for myself to be just like those seniors who helped me and take on a couple of freshmen who didn't know how high school was going to be, didn't know who how choir was going to be. I'm happy to say that I have did my job and I'm sad that we're leaving. So yeah, I'm really grateful for choir because it gave me that opportunity to make so many friends. And it also gave me an opportunity to see the world in a different way, using music as like my outlet. So I'm really thankful for that too. Dang, like looking back this past year of choir has like been so transformative. Um, I feel like a better musician, a better friend, a better like upperclassman. I feel like um, it's just made me a much better person overall. And like, I'm so happy I did it and got to meet all you amazing people. What I learned from being in choir was not to be afraid to put yourself out there and have a voice, speak up for yourself. <clears throat> Some advice I'll give to my freshman self is to not be hard on yourself and to just have fun and enjoy life. If I would have to give advice to my freshman self, it would be don't be afraid to try new things because trying new things will open doors and let you meet new people and you'll build a lot of connections and great friendships. What I would tell my freshman self is to join choir. Like, it's really fun. I remember in freshman year, I had guitar. I would always hear the ch choir kids singing in the other room and I'd be like, wow, I should have joined choir. 
but I would say join choir. It's really fun. It really changed me. Like, I'm like a little bit more outgoing than I used to because I used to always be really shy. And I think it really helped me out with <laughs> being more out there. So some advice I'd give my freshman self would have to be be more involved and just like make the most of high school, go to the dances, go to like be involved in clubs, just go places and not stay at home watching Netflix. My advice to my freshman self would be to not be afraid to step outside of your comfort zone especially because the sooner you do it the more memories you'll have like i wish i tried out for bellevo cherry chamber choir heading into my freshman year because i feel like i would have made a lot more memories and i wish that i had um, stayed in choir my sophomore year because now that i'm in senior year i'm regretting i didn't because it would have been one more year of memories. One piece of advice that I can give to incoming freshmen is get involved in high school. Um, I spent a lot of my high school experience being involved. I did stuff like link crew, leadership, choir, cheer, dance, just so many things. I was involved in a couple of clubs and it definitely made my high school experience so much more memorable because I got to meet so many people. I got so much experience in so many different fields like cheer and dance and music and leadership and yeah it's just been a really cool experience and I'm definitely gonna miss high school and they're all lessons and experiences that I'm going to take with me into college so yeah I'm really excited and I'm especially gonna miss choir so if I could offer any freshman advice I would say just do as much as you can at Christopher Christopher is one of like honestly one of the best high schools where we offer a lot of activities we have a lot of sports and we have like a lot of clubs and different organizations you can join on campus and I think high school is a really really great opportunity for you to really look for your hobbies and the things you like and the things you don't really like you know just try everything everything's a new experience in high school and I don't think I would have had the same amazing and exciting high school experience that I have had had I not been involved with so many different things on campus I went to all the dances I've gone to all the football games. I'm on the cheer and dance team, so I've been to all the football games, obviously. But I've been to a lot of the basketball games, volleyball games, soccer games, you know. Just, I took a part in a lot of different things on campus, and it's changed my life for the better, you know. And I don't think spending four years in high school doing nothing is really the best option you can have. So join organizations, join clubs, join choir, join choir. Um, and just enjoy these four years because they go by really fast and going on into the real world is kind of scary And you don't really always have time to do that that kind of stuff So I would say just do as much as you can piece of advice that I'd have for my freshman self. I'd say um, Especially like after this damn corona thing uh, like take every day day by day really enjoy the moment like um Getting up in the morning and going to school every day is such a struggle, but like, just remember um, the quarantine life right now. Um, and I'd also say like, you only go as far as you push yourself. So make sure to set your goals high. And like, if you reach for the stars, you'll at least hit the moon. If I could give my freshman self any advice, it would be to be yourself and to take every opportunity that life throws at you. <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> um, yeah. I love you guys and I really miss you. I wish we could sing one more time together instead of just being on a web screen. <laughs> okay, well, I don't know what to say anymore. Bye. In general, it's been such an honor to have been surrounded by people just as impassioned, if not more, towards music. Um, you are all so amazing. And I just enjoyed listening to everyone's unique voices. So, yeah. Thank you, choir. Overall, I thought being in a choir was a really fun experience. I really enjoyed hearing the music that we can make with our voices as a whole. I will miss all of you that I've had both of my classes with, and I wish you all the best, and I hope to hear you sing again soon. Goodbye. Regardless, I'm going to miss all you guys so much. You guys are all going to do amazing things. And um, my boy Tyler Arakaki, carry that baritone section next year. And um, yeah, I love all you guys. Uh, song out, baby.
Lastly, I want to thank every single one of you in choir and Miss Dixon too for making my senior year a very memorable one. I know this year was really rough for all of us, especially seniors, right? Because it was like our last year and it got cut a little short, but because of you guys, it made the year go by pretty smoothly actually. So thank you and I'm going to miss all of you very much. I love you. But more importantly, I can't thank choir enough for just giving me the opportunity to create so many wonderful friendships and bonds with people that I maybe would have never been friends with. So I will be forever grateful. I'll always love choir. Yay, choir. Yay. Bye.